Do you use fresh herbs when cooking? This trick will save you a lot of time. Don't pluck the leaves by hand. That's a waste of time. Just use a regular kitchen grater. Snap off the herbs from the stems, pass them through the largest opening, and pull. The leaves, which are the most aromatic part of the herbs, will remain on the grater. The stems will detach themselves right at the leaves. Were you aware of this use for a grater? The drawer under the oven has a hidden function. You'll be shocked to learn what it's for. It's not designed for storing pans and sheets at all. This unassuming part of the kitchen comes in handy while cooking. When we take a dish out of the oven and don't want it to cool down quickly, all you have to do is open the drawer under the stove and put it in there. It's also useful for storing leftovers or portions for late arriving guests. The oven, working above it, effectively warms it up. As a result, the dish will stay warm for a longer time. Were you aware of this drawer function? Do you have one in your kitchen? Don't overpay for a food processor. Transform your ordinary mixer with a new function that will make cooking much more enjoyable. If your mixer doesn't have a stand, you can replace it with a regular oven rack. Just place it in the middle of the bowl, then put the mixer on it and turn it on. You'll have your hands free for adding ingredients. No more sore hands after extended mixing. Apply toothpaste to a knife. You'll be amazed by the results. If the knife is dull and you don't have a sharpener, this trick will surely come in handy. Apply toothpaste to both sides of the blade. Then, take a ceramic bowl and place it upside down. Sprinkle it generously with salt. Also, add a tablespoon of vinegar. Rub the knife at an angle against the edge of the ceramic. Salt and toothpaste disinfect the blade and enhance the sharpening effect. Ceramic is an excellent alternative to a sharpener. The knife will cut like new. I do this once a week to get rid of mold. Place sponges, scrubbers, and brushes that are in the sink into a bowl. Then, generously sprinkle them with salt. Salt has cleansing and disinfecting properties. Pour boiling water over the entire contents and leave it for a few minutes. The salt in boiling water will remove bacteria, fungi, and mold from their surfaces. Once soaked, these items will be hygienic and safe for health. The unpleasant odor will also disappear. I clean the washing machine regularly. Dirt and lime scale disappear. The washing machine is clean, and the laundry always smells fresh. Apply toothpaste to the inner glass of the door. Take half a lemon and spread the paste. Do this especially at the edges, where residue from water and detergents often accumulates. Once you've cleaned the entire glass, toss the lemon into the washing machine drum. Now, focus on the door seal in the washing machine. This is the area where most dirt accumulates and mold. Sprinkle this area with baking soda. It will remove dirt, mold spores, and eliminate unpleasant odors. After doing this, close the washing machine. Open the detergent drawer and spray it with vinegar. All compartments. Vinegar removes scale, detergent, residue, and mold. If you clean the washing machine irregularly, mold will never appear. Close the drawer and run the washing machine on a standard program. Toothpaste, lemon, baking soda, and vinegar will clean the interior of the washing machine and eliminate deposits and lime scale. These ingredients also eliminate mold spores, which may be responsible for the unpleasant odor coming from the washing machine. When the washing machine finishes, open it and remove the lemon. You'll immediately notice that the entire interior shines. Wipe it dry and it will be cleaner than ever. The detergent drawer will also be cleaner. During the next laundry cycle, you'll notice that your clothes will smell wonderfully. You don't have to worry about the smell of mustiness and mold. This trick should be used in every household. Using a knife and parchment paper, you can conveniently store butter in small portions. Parchment paper pieces prevent the butter from sticking together, allowing you to freeze and thaw it easily. Simply cut parchment paper pieces and place them on the knife while cutting. Then wrap the pieces around and place them in a plastic container. This butter can be stored in the refrigerator or freezer. Do you also have a problem with white stains on a black sink? Most people who buy such a sink have no idea how to take care of it. White marks don't come off even after washing with dish soap. 
but an indispensable solution in such a case turns out to be one inexpensive product. Everyone has it in the kitchen cabinet, and it turns out it should also be next to the sink. Then, white deposits from water will never mar your kitchen. Apply a simple trick, and in a few minutes, you'll get rid of the problem. Here's how to deal with it. Take a bottle of vinegar and pour it into a spray bottle. Then spray the sink surface where there are white spots. Do it thoroughly and generously. Place pieces of paper towel on the damp sink and spray vinegar again. It's important for the paper towels to be completely wet. This way, the vinegar won't evaporate and it will work longer, removing the white spots. Leave the paper for several minutes. In just a few minutes, you'll see that the white marks disappear. After a dozen or so minutes, remove the paper and see the difference. There will be no trace of lime deposits. The black streaks and spots will be a thing of the past, and you can enjoy a perfectly clean black sink. To prevent new white deposits, just spray the sink with vinegar from time to time, and that's it. Good luck. I do this once a week to get rid of mold. Place sponges, scrubbers, and brushes that are in the sink into a bowl. Then, generously sprinkle them with salt. Salt has cleansing and disinfecting properties. Pour boiling water over the entire contents and leave it for a few minutes. The salt in boiling water will remove bacteria, fungi, and mold from their surfaces. Once soaked, these items will be hygienic and safe for health. The unpleasant odor will also disappear. When guests are about to arrive, I sprinkle this on the carpet. And it's as good as new. It's a simple and cost-effective way to quickly refresh the carpet. You don't have to send it for a professional cleaning, and you don't need to use harmful chemicals. You can bring back its luster and fresh scent using a homemade method. And the best part is, it won't break the bank. Carpets accumulate dust and dirt. Even regular vacuuming doesn't clean them effectively. It becomes a breeding ground for bacteria, germs, dust mites, and mold. That's when it starts to develop an unpleasant odor. And that's when you can quickly freshen it up. This method works for all types of carpets, even the soft, long-pile ones by the bed. This homemade and eco-friendly carpet cleaning solution will also get rid of dust mites and eliminate mold spores. It deters ants and even bed bugs. The unpleasant smell of staleness and dirt will vanish. Before you quickly freshen any carpet at home, make sure to vacuum it thoroughly first. Then, reach for a household item from your kitchen cabinet that will tackle the bad odor, dust mites, mold, and even bed bugs. You can use it as often as you like. Just sprinkle it over the carpet. It's good to distribute it evenly, so you can use a sieve if you want. Then, spread it across the entire carpet with a clean broom or brush. The magic ingredient here is baking soda. It will not only eliminate the bad smell and various organisms that may have settled in, but also refresh the colors and clean away minor stains. How do you clean your carpet?